Hello students, in this video we'll discuss log normal distributions. Let's recall our common distribution that x is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared if its PDF is 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma e to the negative x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. And that's valid for all values of x. That's our standard normal distribution. Of course, the mean of this, we can check the mean is clearly equal to mu, and the variance is clearly sigma squared. That's a classic argument we've done before. Now we're going to define a new type of variable. We say that y is log normal with parameters mu and sigma squared if y is e to the x and x is normal mu sigma squared. So it's sort of a strange notation. We're saying that y is log normal if it's the exponential of a normal random variable. That's just the convention we use. So we say that log normals are exponentials of normals, okay? Now, I'd like to ask a couple questions about these log normal random variables. So here's the first question we'll address. So let's find, let's find the PDF of y, if y is log normally distributed, right? So we do this in our standard way. It's a good example of doing change of coordinates. So we're going to look at the probability that y is less than or equal to x. And now let's stop and think about what x has to be over here. So in other words, y is e to the x, so x can never be negative. So we're only going to look at the values of x which are greater than or equal to 0. So in other words, I'm only going to restrict ourselves to the range x greater than or equal to 0 because that's the range of these log normal random variables. Okay, Exponentials map the entire row line onto the positive axis. Okay, Excellent. Now what I want to do is I know exactly what this is. So the probability that y, so that's, the, that's of course the CDF, right? So the CDF that we're going to be after, the CDF is going to be equal to the probability that e to the x, because that's what y is, y is e to the x, is less than or equal to x. I'll log both sides, and this is the same as the probability that the natural log of this thing, so we're just going to write actually just that, write that x, x is less than or equal to the natural log of x. And now I know what this is over here. This is exactly equal to 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma, the integral from negative infinity up to now the log of x. That's my limit of integration. And then I have e to the negative y minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared dy. Okay, That's what my uh, distribution is. Because now I'm using the fact that x is normally distributed. And so I'm just plugging this in. My parameter over here is the log of y. Okay, And so now I have to do the derivative of this. So now the derivative with respect to x of this CDF is going to be my PDF. The derivative with respect to x of the CDF is going to be our PDF. And that's going to be what? So in other words, it's going to be that we have f of x, our PDF, is going to be what? It's going to be 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma. That's a constant. I'm going to plug in log of x. I'm going to do the derivative of this integral. So I'm going to plug in the top limit into my variable y. So I'm going to have e to the negative natural log of x minus mu squared over 2 sigma squared. OK, good. And now I can do the derivative of that limit of integration with respect to x. That's the fundamental theorem of calculus. So times a 1 over x. So my final answer is 1 over, and this I see written in most textbooks or guides, sigma x, and then e to the negative natural log of x minus mu quantity squared over 2 sigma squared for x greater than 0. Okay? That's what the PDF of the log normal distribution is. You have an x in the denominator now. Now, you might say, oh, this is going to be a complete hassle to actually find moments of, but let me show you, remind you of a clever trick. Recall that the MGF, the moment generating function of a normal mu sigma squared, as a, so the MGF of a normal random variable with parameters mu and sigma squared is going to be e to the mu t plus 1 half sigma squared t squared. Okay, That's the MGF of a normal random variable. Okay. And so now, how does this help me? So for example, if I want to compute the expected value of y to the power k, my log normal random variable, what is this? This is the expected value of e to the x raised to the k. And this is just the expected value of e to the kx by properties of exponents. And now, of course, this is just the MGF evaluated at k. So what this is going to be is this is going to be e to the mu times k 
Okay, that's my, now my T's being played by K here. That's my value, my moment generating function. And then plus one half sigma squared K squared. That's my moment generating function. So in particular, what that tells me is that tells me what the, what's the first moment of this guy. So it tells me the first moment, the expected value of Y. And what, that's what happens when K is equal to one. It's gonna be E to the mu plus one half sigma squared plus sigma squared over two. That's the first moment. The second moment's gonna be what? The second moment, the expected value of y squared for this is gonna be e to the two mu, and then I'm gonna put in a k equals two into this, and that's gonna be a four, so that's gonna be a two, two sigma squared. And so now if I want to find the variance, the variance is gonna be this expression minus this expression squared. So the variance of y of this random variable, variance of y, is gonna be this expression, e to the two mu, plus two sigma squared, minus this expression squared, that's gonna be e to the two mu, e to the two mu, and then a plus, uh, if, I, if I square this over here, that's gonna be just a sigma squared, plus sigma squared, sigma squared. So in other words, the variance of this random variable that has a factor of e to the two mu and sigma squared in common, so it's gonna be an e to the two mu, plus sigma squared, and then an e to the sigma squared, minus one left over, and so that's the variance of a log normal random variable. So the moments of a log normal random variable come exactly from the moment generating function of a standard normal of a normal random variable with mean mu and variance sigma squared. Thank you very much.